Hey everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends uh, What If Wave Doctor Strange Supreme. Here he is in the box with the cape and an extra hand. Also got the Watcher's leg down at the bottom there. There's the side art and the back art, which is the same. It says Doctor Strange Supreme. While an unforeseen event changes Stephen Strange's perspective on life, the path he chooses is one filled with even darker magic. And we already got Zombie Cap, we already got T'Challa Star War Lord, we already got Captain Carter, we still need uh, Zombie Hunter Spidey, we got Doctor Strange Supreme right here, we still need Heist Nebula, and we still need Sylvie. Let's open them up and see what he's like out of the box. Alright, and here's Strange Supreme out of the box with his extra hand and his cape. Comes in at almost six and three quarter inch so very tall figure um the cape is it's a lot <laughs> let's just say that um it's the soft rubbery plastic so it doesn't really move much but it's there it's still a nice detail let me actually take off the cape because we're going to have to do that anyways for the articulation and the mold and everything like that but the coloring on the cape and the mold of the cape is very nice. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's very big. Um, for mold, he's got a really, really good mold here. Um, looks like a cross between animated and live action. Stephen Strange, we'll look into that in a minute with the uh, Doctor Strange wave, Doctor Strange that I got sitting behind me. But a uh, quick 360, that plugs in for the cape. Uh, color looks great, looks very vibrant, and at the same time not, which is really, really cool. Um, so for articulation, head can go 360 up and down and around, it's on a ball joint. Arms can go around and up, there's a bicep joint there for him to turn. He's got the triple hinged elbow joint, and his hands can go back and forth and rotate 360 torso we could turn go up go down go side to side and legs can move up and back um, thighs can rotate as well and then there's a triple hinge on the knee and the legs or I mean the I guess that would be the uh, shins also can rotate and his feet can as well. So a lot of articulation for this figure, which is great, especially since he's the most important character in uh, What If. So let's move him to the side really quick so you could get some of his Instagram pictures in on there. Gonna just take a quick breath and say this figure is definitely an essential figure if you're a What If fan, and an essential figure for the MCU, and an essential figure for Marvel altogether. It's Really great looking and has awesome articulation. So really quick, let's put him next to the uh, Doctor Strange figure from Doctor Strange. So, as you can see, there are some likenesses. Obviously, Strange Supreme uses a little more dark magic, so he's a little darker. But uh, they still look fairly similar. Obviously, now that you got them next to each other, the What If one does look a little more animated, but they still perfectly capture the essence of Benedict Cumberbatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick cut here, uh, put in the other figures from this wave that we've reviewed, and switch out his hand for you. So just give me a second. So here's everybody all together, and gosh, they look great. Uh, this wave is definitely coming together the more you get the figures. Uh, but yeah, Stephen Strange, obviously, is the one that's standing out the most. Um, I really, really like it. Definitely giving this figure a 10 out of 10. Definitely the star of this wave uh, so far. Still missing two figures and the Build-A-Figure. Um, but yeah, Strange Supreme, definitely standing out really well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like. Uh, comment what you think of this figure, subscribe for more toy reviews every single day, and ring that bell for some other It's That Nerd Ryan content. Also, make sure you open the description and check out my... 
All right, I just had the worst behind the scenes moment happen um, right before I ended the video. So the camera died and then everything fell right after I put the batteries in. So anyways, as I was saying, make sure you guys follow me on my social media, especially Instagram and TikTok to see some pictures and these figures in action. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. It's that nerd Ryan telling you.